So let's take a look at creating a more complex custom tag. As a Java developer, I'm trying to incorporate more complex um, code and do it in Java so that my JSP developer can use the tag and get the um, more complex rendering facilities um, without having to use more complex JSTL tags or write inline Java code. I'm going to create another tag, but this time instead of uh, starting it from scratch through the magic of computers, I'm actually going to add um, my custom tag class by dragging it uh, from Windows Explorer, dragging it, if I can position my windows correctly, right on top of the package where I want to drop it. And you can see that my mouse changes to a plus. The tool asks me if I want to copy the file, and I say, okay, I know what I'm doing. And a quick look at this Java code. It's packaged correctly. It extends simple tag support. But what is it that this... Um, code is actually going to do. Um, I've implemented the do tag method. I'm working with the JSP context object to get a print writer. I'm sorry, not a print writer. Remember, we're working with JSPs. We're actually going to get a JSP writer. And I'm going to begin generating some output from this tag. I have a private variable called list. I have a set list, right? I have a set list, so I have a class variable called list. I have a set list so that I can populate that field inside of the content of my code. I'm actually going to um, use the list in a for um, loop structure or a for structure in Java. This is a new Java 5 structure in a for loop. If you're used to seeing um, the for and the three arguments separated by a semicolon where you, are, you provide an integer, you provide a stop point, you provide uh, an integer changer, an increment or a decrement, uh, this is a new for structure where it automatically essentially does a for each, which Java has never had, um, essentially doing a for each loop uh, for each item in the list. It's going to populate a local variable called uh, O in this case. Inside of my list, I'm going to create a new employee, get the first name, get the middle name, get the last name. Um, so I'm calling general uh, getters on these um, names and print out all of the values from inside of my do tag method. So essentially, I'm creating an iterator, but I'm doing it inside of do tag. There's no special method implementation that needs to be done here. Now, I want to provide this tag functionality along with another tag that I have um, that does something completely different. In order to provide both of these tags to my JSP developers, I can create additional tag library descriptors to uh, configure them in the server environment or the application environment. I can also add to existing tag library descriptors by creating another tag element. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I've got a uh, very simple tag library descriptor in the web INF subdirectory. I'm going to open this up. I've already got one tag defined. Uh, the one tag is called custom sample. It's a different Java class, right? So I'm going to add another one. And this one I'll just copy and paste the necessary tag elements into this tag file instead of creating a new one. So um, I've got the tag element. The name is going to be employee list. Notice that the tag class extends, or uh, the tag class is actually the tag code that I just created. The body content is empty, but I'm going to define that my tag takes an attribute. The attribute is uh, named list. The type is of type collection. Um, it is a required attribute. And the runtime expression value is set to true so that the expression will actually be evaluated at runtime. 
this is the only piece of um, my tag library descriptor that I need to add to um, my existing tag library descriptor. Okay, so I'm defining exactly, I'm, I, as a Java developer, I'm writing my Java code, employee list tag, custom tag, whatever functionality I want to be able to give to the JSP developer so that they can uh, streamline their JSP development. I can do it in one TLD file or however it makes sense for my project. I can organize the tag configuration into one TLD file or multiple TLD files, whatever makes sense for my custom tag development.